Hi, I'm Jan Britt of Jan Britt Interiors. Not only am I an interior designer, I also sew. I do window treatments and other sewing too. I even teach sewing classes, but this project right here is no sewing at all. And we're gonna do nothing but recycle some fun things that you have at home. Let's have some fun. Now, what I did on this pillow is I took the pillow just like this. What you have to have are safety pins to hold this all in place. I just put this together real quickly. And this is 54 inch wide fabric. This basically is a drapery fabric, but you don't have to use drapery. You can use any kind of fabric just about. You cannot just use the fabric like this fabric. You can use tablecloth or sheet fabric if you prefer to do so. Now, this is a pillow that I had at home, but we are going to recycle this pillow. Nothing wrong with this pillow, but if you want to change something different to look at, this is a fun thing to do, not just for you, but also also for every member of your family that would really enjoy something fun to do. Now, let's move this over. Notice this is 54 inches wide by 54 wide. Basically a yard and a half by a yard and a half. You can go 54 wide by a yard and a quarter if you want to for a 18 inch pillow. I did this size because I have a 20 to 22 inch pillow. It works out real well with a yard and a half by a yard and a half. Now, see how I'm pointing these? I took the whole edge, pointed it right up to the center portion part, took the pillow, put it right in the middle part there, and then lift this up, and take this side and lift it up so it's got to meet in the middle, and pull it a little bit tight, and then take the safety pin. I'm using a large safety pin. You don't have to use one this big, but don't get a cheap safety pin because it'll pop off on you. So put it right through here. Now you can put it under here to hide it if you choose to. I'm doing it on top so you can see what I'm doing. So here we have our center part. Now I'm going to lift this all the way up on this side. Pull this together. I'm going to put a rubber band here. I'm using this color because I want you to see it. You don't have to use this color. You can use any color rubber band. If you don't happen to have a rubber band, you can use twisty ties. I put four twisty ties from bread ties together so you could see that and, or you can use hair ties. It doesn't matter but we got to make sure we have something that will hold this together for you. So here we go. Pull this up here on this side too and take this rubber band right here to hold this in place for a second. Now we're going to put both of these together. I'm going to show you how to do the fun way then I'm going to show you a way that's less, a lot more tailored. Pull that through here. Lift this up, lift this up, and there we go. Put it on twice. Now you can do the twice, you can do uh, rubber bands over time will rot on you. So you do need to put a support around there too. I'm going to hide the excess fabric on both sides underneath here. I'm going to get my pleats real pretty on the side, kind of uniform if you can on both edges and then I'm going to open this up or I can even do a butterfly effect. You see a little bow effect if you choose to. So you can do a little bow. You can put a tassel inside. Tassels are getting to be big again. So you can do this look right here with a little bow or you can take and open it all the way up and turn it into a rose effect or a swirl of fabric right on the inside portion. This turns just like this, all the way around, and there you can see that. You can play with it any way you want to, but it looks fun, but take a look at this. You see the very back? If you decide you'd like to have, oh, I think I like this, but I only want the back part. I'm going to hide this part because I'm not really into the rose look, no problem. But let me show you another technique you can do on the very front of this too. Take the rubber band off. There we go. Now we're going to do a knot. Take this part here. There's my pen. Crisscross. See that? Make a knot right here. Pull that thing tight. Go right over the top of that. Now if you choose to, you can take and tack underneath here by hand with needle and thread under here so that you have just this part here that's showing and then this part and that'll be, so you can have this look if you choose to. But I'm going to show you something different. Pull that out, 
pull this tight. There's so many things. Your imagination is the only thing that will stop you from having so much fun manipulating this fabric so that you can do something different and very creative with the supplies that you already have at home. So, we'll take this part here and turn this around to this. Hide this portion under here. Turn this around. And then just do a knot. You see you just have a little, you have a knot here is what you can do. Having fun. I love just having fun. Well, here we have, remember, this is the first pillow we started off with, which is really pretty, the pillow we currently have in the house. But for a change, what we did is we took and we did a no-sewing pillow. Front and back have a totally different look. But I want to show you something right here. Notice this material has got one color on one side and it's got another color on the other side, which is the gray. This has got more of the white, beigey color and the gray together. So what I wanted to do was pull the gray color out. So I put the gray portion on the bottom so that when I did put the petal on top and went like this, what happens is you flip it up and you'll see the gray. If I would have turned it the other way, then it would have showed the white. So some fabrics are totally reversible. Now, what I'm going to do is show you one more no sewing pillow technique, and it is with a sheet. What I did is I took a sheet that I cut it up and I have a pillow, I have an old pillow. This old pillow needs to be recycled right here. And because of it, we're gonna have something really kind of nice for a different part of the house. So this is 18 inches. So the material that I cut, that I have cut, which I really cut out of the sheet, is 54 inches by one yard and one quarter. I made it a little bit smaller. You can use yard and a half if you want to. But I have this ready for you right here. I'll fold it just like we did before, but this material is a lot thinner than the upholstery fabric was. So I'm going to open this up and show you right here exactly the same thing. I put a pin to hold it in place. You see right there, it's the same triangle shape that I'm going to pull right up for the edges, right like that. And I don't need that pin there. I just did that to save a little bit of time for us. So I'll take this pillow, put it in the center, and sometimes you have to be careful because sometimes the fabric is really, really thin and you'll be able to see the color right through. Uh, sometimes that's positive and sometimes that's negative. Depends on what you're looking for. So here we'll pull this up and I'll get this pen right out of here because we really don't need that pen there. And then pull this up through here. Get my safety pen. And again, remember, you don't have to use one this big. You just have to have a sturdy and a good quality one. And if you don't have a pen, you can use something else. And if you need to, you can even do a stitching if you want to with needle and thread. But we're doing this all no sew today. Okay. Now, I'm going to pull this back. You see what I did? I took this section here, pulled it all the way up. And this is much thinner fabric. Take this one, pull this all the way up here too just like that, and I'm going to knot this one. And look how much different, because it's not as thick a fabric. Can you see the detail of how close? Pulling it right over to where that pen covers it right up. Can you see that? Pulling the little edges right into place, so it has a nice crisp section there. Pulling all these little pleats here. And I'm going to do a knot. I'm going to do an actual knot. We're going to turn this under just like this, pulling that tight and pulling this through, making sure we have that nice and pretty. And we can make another knot if you choose to. Just to use your creativity so that it'll look really nice and a lot of fun for you. You can have a good time with this. Pulling that tight, pulling this under, and then tucking through. Now what's going to happen if this doesn't quite go like it should, just shove it in there. And here we have a different look, just a little bit different. And again, it's reversible. I hope you've enjoyed my no sewing pillows. 
I'm Jan Britt, and I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Love for you to click subscribe. Thank you. I'm Jan Britt.